So there is a lot of confusion around these terms and what I'm going to try to do in this video is explain these terminologies, explain these tools and how they fit together so that you can pursue the best learning path possible for you. All right, let's dive in. So we're going to start chronologically, start off with Excel. So yeah, sure, Excel has been around a long time. And gosh, it's a great tool. It's a terrific tool, but it has some rough edges around it. And that's where in 2009, Power Pivot was introduced. I call it the firstborn in the Power BI family. And later, Power Query was uh, added as an add-in to Excel. Now, I'll, I'm going to switch them around uh, because I see Power Query as a way to feed data to Power Pivot, the data model. So Power Query lets you connect and query data from multiple sources, combine them together, and feed that to the data model. And the data model is where you define relationship, measures, and all of that. Now, this is what existed. And later in 2015, a Power BI desktop general availability was announced. Now, this has the same components. It has the query engine and it has the data model. It also has the visualization. I'll come back and talk about that later. But let's talk about the query engine and the data model in both Excel and Power BI desktop. So here is a query in Excel, and here is a query in Power BI Desktop. Well, they kind of look alike. I mean, yeah, the color scheme is different, but that's about the extent of the difference between these two. So yeah, they're, they're the same. The query engine across these two are the same. And hey, here's a measure or a formula in an Excel data model, and here's the same one in Power BI Desktop. They're the same. Let's go again. Here's a measure in Excel. Uh, this uses time intelligence, and here's the same measure in Power BI desktop data model. They look alike. So really the message here is that those two engines, those two technologies are the same under the hood. The covering is different, right? I and mean, the, the wrapper is different, but inside it's the same chocolate. You got the query engine and you got the data model. In fact, to the point that if you were, lo if you were to look at Excel 2016, a ribbon can you find Power Query or Power Pivot there? Well, those terms don't show up. I mean, this is Power Query essentially, and this is Power Pivot, but you don't see those terms. It's simply Query and Data Model. That's all there is. So really, you have the same components across these two tools, and your learnings are transferable. You can learn uh, building queries and building data models in Excel and go do that in Power BI Desktop or vice versa. Let's talk about the last piece. Now here, Power BI Desktop has, seems to have this unique capability to build visualizations, to build reports, which you can then publish to PowerBI.com and so forth. Well, I would like to point out that Excel has obviously always had <clears throat> visualization capabilities. Now here is where these two tools differ quite a bit. The visualization capabilities in Power BI are different than Excel. Excel, I think, is really great. A lot of customization, a lot of tweaking. There's so many options you can play with, macros, all of that stuff. So that's where Excel uh, really shines. Pivot tables are great. Power BI Desktop is great for building these kind of modern field visualizations, which are interactive, uh, work great on mobile, right? So these two differ in that regard. But really, you don't have to make a choice. So I'm not going to go too much into it in this video, uh, but let me talk about this paradigm of author, publish, consume. So when we talk about authoring, that's what I'm talking about, the query engine and the data model, right? So you connect to multiple data sources, bring them together, define your relationships, and, and then define your measures. For, for that one, you can use either tool. As we just talked about, both Excel and Power BI Desktop have the exact same capability. So you can use either tool, just pick one, please. Just pick one. Don't don't vacillate over it. Like, oh no, no, just just pick one, right? If you like Excel, stay with that. Otherwise, Power BI Desktop is a great choice. So just pick one there, and then you can publish it. You can publish it to PowerBI.com, or you can publish to on-prem assets as well, SSAS, SSRS, right? But really, the last end, the consumption end, you can consume it in a tool of your choice. And of course, the way it's going to work is that, let's say one author builds the model using either Excel or Power BI Desktop, publishes it to the cloud, 
at that point, the users don't care. They don't know, they don't care that which tool you use to author it looks alike. And then hundreds of users can build hundreds of reports using a tool of their choice. They can have, you can build uh, Power BI dashboards and reports, the modern one, or use kind of the classic Excel using Analyze in Excel. So all of that is possible. So the message there is that on the visualization side, you don't even have to pick. You can you can do both, right? You can have Power BI dashboards and reports connected to the same model, the same source of truth, and have Excel graphs, reports, pivot tables, all of that stuff connect to the same model published in cloud. So hopefully that clarified the way these pieces fit together. Again, my message is that if you've been sitting on the fence thinking about these tools, then gosh, by all means, dive in and don't worry too much about Excel or Power BI desktop. Just pick a tool and get moving. Your skills are always going to be transferable.